Hello, Mariners. This is Congressman John Garamendi. Oh, how I wish we could all get together, but here we are in the age of Zoom and the age of COVID. But your industry and the Mariners of America have gone through tough times. This is a maritime nation, and the Mariners know how important they are. And I know how important each and every one of you are as we address the issues of the pivot to the Pacific. But as we think about the Pacific and what the future holds for the United States in that part of the world, we also think about history. I was reading this book, Hornfisher's book, The Fleet at Flood Tide. It talks about the Pacific battles, the Navy. Interestingly, as much as he talked about everything that the Navy was doing, he rarely talked about what the merchant mariners were doing. Same thing in the Atlantic. The unsung, often forgotten heroes of World War II were certainly the men and women, well, the men, on the naval ships, but also, and perhaps even more important, when you take it all together, we're talking about the merchant mariners that got the men, the equipment, the supplies, the ammunition, the oil, everything that was needed to fight in Europe or in the Pacific. And so, the Merchant Mariner's gold medal is now a reality. It's a reality because all of you know and understand how important the Merchant Marines are. And so today, as you go about your work thinking about the future, as I go about my work thinking about how we can sustain the fight in the Pacific or in the Atlantic, I think back on those men that were on those Liberty ships that toiled and had the highest death rate per capita of any of the services and how they suffered when they came home totally forgotten and a long long time before they were even allowed to be able to have veterans benefits but finally because of your support and because of the interest of the remaining few mariners that are still alive we now have the merchant mariners of world war ii gold medal thank you for making it happen Thank you for the work that you did, the lobbying and all the effort. And going forward, we've got more work to do. Our tasks is not over. And the work of the maritime industry of America must remain strong, vibrant, and ever-growing. That'll be our task for the future. But today, we celebrate those who gave their lives, who spent their time on those Liberty ships and brought the supplies to the men who were fighting the wars in the Pacific and in the Atlantic. To them, we give them the credit they deserve. Have a great conference. Thank you. Thank you.